Hello everyone and welcome back to another Let's Create A and this time it's a self-care page but it's also a spell. Yeah, <laughs> I decided to do, it was a very random idea I had. I was feeling down in the dumps under the weather. Speaking of which, it's raining like mad and I have a Velux window so if you can hear rain in the background, I'm sorry, let's just say it's a... Uh, it's ambience. Right. <laughs> so, as I was saying, I felt a little bit miserable, which, you know, I have every right to be miserable when I'm in my uh, ME crashes and flare-ups and whatnot. So I decided to try and make myself a little bit happier by doing what I love, which is a bit of creativity and a bit of artwork. And I had this. And I've had this for so long. It came as pa part of a packaging of uh, some stickers and I was like, I'm going to keep this because it just, I'm going to use it and this is the time. And I've just got these so cute little mini vintage style envelopes and they're just so cute. I can't even tell you. This one's got an owl on it so I was like, definitely using that one. I have a background which is this uh, ghostly looking pirate ship with the full moon behind it. And then I have this parchment paper which I'm going to write something on. And I'll tell you what my idea is all about in a second. It is going to be a message to myself in a bottle. <laughs> You can see the little envelope, it fits perfectly into this bottle and I thought the pirate ship with the whole like message in a bottle vibe would work perfectly but then I'm going further and I'm actually adding ingredients into the bottle starting with a little pigeon white feather and then I have these teeny tiny little chunks of uh, rose quartz perfect for the job and then what else have I got some red ribbon with some love hearts on them I didn't know exactly how to include them I just knew I wanted to have a bit of this ribbon purely because it's got love hearts on it and then I also have a bay leaf a little tiny one that I found and I'll, I'll explain later why these things are very important. Rosemary, good old rosemary that I stole from my mother's cabinet in the kitchen. <laughs> so yeah, they're all my special little ingredients to go in the bottle. So in my Book of Shadows tour, which is doing remarkably well still, like the views, woman heck. Oh yeah, I had this little thing as well, this little... I don't even know what it is, it just came off of something and I've had it forever and it talks about the love between a mother and daughter and I love my mum with all of my heart so I had to include that somehow as well. What was I saying? In my Book of Shadows tour I had a little envelope and it was a love letter to myself and it was part of a, a therapy exercise where you write a letter to yourself from when you're in a slightly weller, better state of mind and then you write a message to your not-so-good self and your not-so-good state of mind so that you can read it and then it kind of reminds you that uh, it's not all bad and that you can have moments of feeling okay and it's like it's like giving yourself your own little pep talk it's cool so i decided i'd uh, staple this down because it's it's quite thick it's like a thick plastic and i didn't want to have all the glue going like i didn't want to see all the glue residue all on the outside so i thought stapling it onto the thing would be good I had a really hard time stapling. You can see how like shaky my hands are that particular day. I had to use every bit of energy I had to staple that down. 
and yeah absolute perfect fit and that wasn't even intended I was just originally gonna do a bit of parchment paper and put it in but these envelopes perfect worked perfectly so yeah I love the background as well that I used so when you take everything out it's this pirate ship vibe and it's like reminds me of message in a bottle that kind of thing and then it also a ship on water just kind of reminds me of moving traveling moving forward and then also turbulence so like you know being chronically ill is like being on a stormy sea on a rickety beaten up pirate ship that's how it feels so i thought it represented how I felt inside. So yes, now I'm getting my fancy scissors. I've organized all my stuff at last. I've like I've got everything's neat and tidy now in in its own little baggies. I've like I've sorted all my stickers out, I've sorted all my papers out. Everything's now just really neat and tidy so I can actually access everything without having to <laughs> scurry through a gigantic box of randomness. Ah, so much easier. So yeah, now I'm cutting this page to shape. Because my Book of Shadows, it, it's got really weird pages. I've said this before, it's like, they're so random. They're just random, randomly cut weird skewiffy pages. So I have to like try and cut this down to fit. And instead of just cutting it straight, I was like, let's just use my fancy scissors to give it this kind of jagged but cool looking border. And then I think it didn't fit. <laughs> I thought it would fit, but it didn't fit. I think I have to cut it down even more. But yeah, this is a one page project this time. This isn't a double spread like I normally do. <laughs> uh, technically, this is a short and sweet, simple but effective page. Yeah, you can see I'm well off. I'm well off the size there. I need to cut it even more. Back in with the scissors I go. But yeah, the the random bottle, like I've 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 held I held on to that for so long. And it was just part of packaging that came with a load of I think like flower stickers that I bought. And I just knew that one day this would come in handy for something. And then it suddenly clicked. I was like, hang on a minute, spell jar? It's giving spell jar. And instead of doing a actual physical spell jar, let's just do a page spell jar. Let's just make a spell using using this thing instead. You see, you don't need a physical jar. You don't need it. You don't need it. <laughs> just draw one. You know, I think that works just as effectively. So I'm stapling the bottom, extra, sh look at, look at how, you can tell by the way I put, like I had to use two hands that time. And there we go, that's secure now. All secure and ready to go. Double checking that the envelope fits in fine, which it does. Perfect fit. And yes, I recommend doing this. I mean, the reason I filmed this one is because I thought it was such a sweet idea. Just like in general, it's such a, like, it's like, even if you're not a witch, it's just a really cool exercise to do. To write a self-love letter. And then in witchcraft land, I think self-love and self-care and uh, 
having yourself be first priority is always it's always mentioned a lot isn't it it's like building that self-love towards your yourself and that's kind of what I use a lot of witchcraft stuff for anyway it's like it's kind of like I use witchcraft as an extension to my healing process um, it makes me more uh, it's like instead of doing a meditation it's me doing a spiritual practice <laughs> it just makes it sound so much more fun and interesting and it's like yeah because everything was so boring <laughs> trying to like yeah just like <laughs> all the things that you're supposed to do to get in this healing state as they call it I always found it so very tedious and it's like like having rest and getting that quality rest and mindfulness all these different tools and tricks that I've been told and learned about throughout the 10 years of illness that I've had so far it just like I think that's part of why witchcraft spoke to me so much because it just was such a cool interesting very intriguing very creative way of healing and finding another way to heal that wasn't that generic normal stuff that I hated so much so here hey silver pen silver pen <laughs> back here again silver pen you know if I <laughs> Okay, maybe it's too soon to talk about merch, but you know, I can't help but think in the future if I ever have merch, I'm totally doing a silver pen themed t shirt or something. I'm just gonna have like a silver pen <laughs> and just have that be like a design for a t shirt, definitely. Ugh. Right, so on the envelope, I wrote letter to myself, or was it letter for myself? for myself letter for myself you know just just to remind me that it's for me you know <laughs> just in case i forget and then of course the pen comes out to do a little outline just to make it that extra bit shiny and special as always and now I'm thinking about the back and if I want to do any more and I'm, I'm very good this time. I'm like, no, I'm not going to do any more silver pen. One outline is, is, is good. We'll stick with that. Here we go. My now arranged perfectly sticker bag. <laughs> the little pink zipper bag thingy that's now got all the stickers inside it so it's not quite as chaotic trying to find the correct stuff that I want I knew I wanted to have some some sort of sticker on the back of the envelope I just didn't know what at the time so here's me scurrying through through all of my stuff seeing if there's anything that stands out I'm thinking about those text ones because they're kind of cute and they have this kind of love theme attached to them. All of these ones that I'm looking through have this kind of love vibe, sweet vibe. I think this is where I spot, do I? No, it's gone, it's gone. The sticker I chose is, is gone. But I clearly come back to it. Ah, there you go gold shiny love heart of course I had to go for a gold shiny love heart <laughs> I'm on theme though I'm on theme with the love gosh the weather's so bad it's god it's chucking it down behind me I really hope you can't hear that <laughs> it's snowing as well by the way where I am it's snowing ah it's so cold as well, ugh. Anyway, yeah, so on the front, I thought this little gold, gold shiny metallic little love heart. Again, just to remind me, you know, just, just, just an extra thing to say. This is about love. 
just in case I forget. And then, aha, there it is. The thank you at the bottom here. I saw this thank you and it's like really pretty and it's kind of got a vintage style about it. And it's kind of shiny as well. It's got like gold, gold in it. And I thought that would be kind of cool because like, it's almost like I'm saying thank you to myself for doing this whole thing. It's like when I turn around the envelope to read what's inside, it's like me saying thank you. Thank you for in your darkest moment actually thinking, hey, I'm going to go get this envelope and read it. Because that's half the battle, you know, if I'm in a depressive state, it like actually going to get the letter itself would be a really big task. You know, getting out of bed is bad enough when you're in a super depressed state, so it's like if I actually do go and grab the letter, it's like a victory for me in a way, so that thank you sticker kind of made sense at the moment. And then I put a little rose on as well, a little rose sticker, because roses are very, very self-love themed and symbolic of love. And I think that's my envelope complete. The outside at least. Yeah, roses are very symbolic. You always think of a rose when you think of love. Because, yeah, roses represent love and romance, but they can also symbolise healing. They have, like, healing properties, uh, emotional healing, so perfect. And then self-love is also a word that's very associated with roses or rose petals or rose water. So now I get on to writing the letter to myself. So I've got to cut this bit of parchment paper to size. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do this and fit it in the envelope. Parchment paper's cool. I mean, you can use any kind of paper, but I like the really old looking stuff. I always go for the old stuff. Um, when I do any kind of spell work or anything or... I always use paper that's like more like parchment, but any paper will do. You don't have to be all fancy like me. <laughs> so yeah, cutting it down to size. Just trying to figure out the layout of it and what I'm going to do. My tappy tappy hands are back at it again. I think about the ribbon, I'm, 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 I'm like thinking about inserting it into the envelope's message, but I decide against that. You know, last time in the last, uh, was it the last video where I was like, bulky is not a good way to go? This time I'm like, screw that, I'm going bulky. I'm going thick. It's a thick page. Very thick. <laughs> Too thick. Yeah, it made my book, like, just way too, way too bulky. It's already too bulky, but now it's ridiculous. I think it was worth it in the end. So, yeah, I have loads of these really, really old stamps from a family, family friend who just handed it down to us when they passed on. And I just, yeah, I kept them all because I knew that in my... In my scrapbooking or any kind of art stuff, I would eventually use them. And I don't know... Oh yeah, no, no, I do I do know why. It's, you know, a letter stamp. It made sense to have a stamp inside of a letter-themed thing. So yeah, I found... Um, yeah, that gold one at the top. I don't even know what it is. I don't even know, like... I literally have no clue what it is. Uh, I just saw gold shiny and I was like, yep, you're coming with me. <laughs> I 
I can't resist shiny. That's another merch thing. That's another merch idea. I'll just have a t-shirt that says shiny. And then, yeah, another sticker that's a stamp. Vintage stamp. And this one has a bumblebee on it. And I chose the bumblebee, not only because it's just really cute and vintage looking, but I also chose it because bees are very associated with productivity and hard work. And I think loving oneself and showing self-compassion and self-care in general is very hard work. And you have to put a lot of effort into it into all of this so it kind of made sense to add a bee in there and bees can also be associated with love and sweetness because of the honey and they can also be for protection as well and i think another thing they're associated with is uh what's the word i'm looking for focus i, I believe focus that's another key word. So yeah, you just like loving oneself is can be very, very hard. A very hard process. Healing, healing in general is such a difficult process. You know, like not just physically, I mean mentally, like mentally, emotionally, healing is is woof such hard work especially when you get into any kind of spirituality stuff and you start doing shadow work and it gets, it gets real deep it gets real deep real fast <laughs> you unlock a whole box of chaos when you become a witch so yes now i'm writing a it's like half love letter and half spell. So I'm writing it to myself, from myself. Uh, but I'm also... Uh, what I did was I used... I like wrote down a load of key words that I thought were my positive traits as a person. I wrote things down like sensitive, creative, <laughs> things like that. Um, and then I I was a little bit cheeky and I used ChatGPT <laughs> to uh, help me come up with a spell, a bit of a, a bit of an invocation spell to uh, using all of those key words that I wrote down and making sure to include every single word I'd written and but make it into like a spell. That's the kind of thing that ChatGPT is good for, I think. Because, you know, if you don't have the energy to, <laughs> to, you know, think for yourself, which I didn't really on that day, I was like, oh, ChatGPT, come on, do your thing. Help me out. And it did. It came up with a very sweet, very, very sweet poem letter slash spell. I haven't got it with me. Oh, I should read it. Ugh. It means having it means having to open my whole book of shadows up though so maybe i can get a an idea from just looking at this see if i can read some of it out when i start writing it in black i've sped this up obviously because it took me forever to do But yeah, I love the little bee, the little bee vintage sticker thing on the corner. It just makes it look, just makes it look more like a, a, a letter that's been delivered. And the owl on my um, envelope, I chose the owl one because of my spirit guide, which is an owl. And owls in general, uh, wisdom is what I associate those with the most. Uh, intuition as well. Uh, messengers from the other world. 
uh, from the divine. And Azar... But <laughs> I'm saying Azar as if people watching this know what I'm on about. You'd only know if you watched my Book of Shadows tour about Azar, my spirit guide. Um, they're like my my guardian as well. They protect me and help me a lot. So it made sense to include a tiny reference to my my guy in the sky, as I call him. <laughs> but then again, it's him or her because they represent in both ways. Sometimes it's a he, sometimes it's a she. So really, it's a they. But I just like to say, my guy in the sky, because it rhymes. <laughs> what else could I do? My my girl in the... My girl in the... My gal in the... Nah, I can't think of anything. It's gonna have to be my guy in the sky. <laughs> and I did my nails, by the way, especially for this video. Yeah. Just for you guys. Special. <laughs> Put some nice pink nail nail polish on for you all. So yep. I think I'm coming to the end. Slowly but surely I'm getting there. The writing bit is always the most tedious part of the videos because <laughs> it takes me so long and it's sped up to the max I was very shaky that day my darn shaky hands getting in the way all the time and being left handed and all it's like ugh the smudging ugh, ugh, don't get me started on being left handed and being at art college the smudging, oh, ruined so many projects, I can't even tell you. Right now, sorry, that's my chair squeaking, that is not me trumping, alright? If you just heard that, that was not me, I promise. <laughs> I promise, it's my squeaky chair, if you hear anything like that. I'm moving, don't, don't, don't judge, I'm moving, right. Right now, I can finally get to filling it in with the black pen, as always. I always write things out first. Oh yeah, that pen didn't... Uh, I mean, it does work, but it wasn't quite as black as I wanted it to look, so I, I go for my trusty paint pen to do the job. This is me testing it out. Uh, and look at that, how cheeky. How cheeky. That was cheeky. That was very cheeky. That was sneaky. Very sneaky. Tut 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 me. <laughs> Subliminal messaging. You will subscribe. Right, now I can fill it in. I'm going to see if I can read it when it's in full speed. I bet I won't, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. So it starts as Dear Alex, because that's my name. Hear this... Hear this sacred... Hear this sacred call and honour the beauty. Honour the beauty. Hand move, hand move within you. The beauty within you. Uh. Creative, uh, the beauty within you all, creative soul with visions, bright, kindness flows, like, uh, like, like soft moonlight, very poetic, sensitive, sensitive heart, so deeply true so deeply true empathetic empathetic 
because I am an empath and I think that's a superpower. Empathetic eyes. Seeing others. Seeing others through. Oh, I like that line. Empathetic. Seeing others through. Loving spirit, tender and pure. Oh. A great sense of humour. <laughs> a great sense of humour. I pride myself on my humour. The day that I don't crack a joke is the day pigs will fly. <laughs> sense of humour. Your gifts radiant cure, I think that says. Yeah, your gifts radiant cure. Brave and bold. Which I think anyone with a chronic illness has that title of bravery. Brave and bold. Uh, come on hand, get out the way. Uh, you walk the night. Witchcraft's wisdom. Uh, guide your sight or guides your sight. Very nice. Spiritual wanderer, I think it says. Uh, so intuitive. Mm hmm. I pride myself on my intuition. Intuition. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> your. Your. What? Your, your essence pure? Your essence something? Your essence pure? My hand's in the way. Your gift's definitive. With this letter, I weave a something. With this letter, I weave... I weave... <laughs> I can't see it. I weave um, a thread to preserve the light in you ahead. Very profound. The light with you ahead, the light in you ahead, by earth, by air, by fire and by sea, all that you are shall set you free. I remember that bit. Yeah. So mote it be. I love that ending. Yeah, all that you are shall set you free. Indeed. It already has, to be honest. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm still going through hell, but... But witchcraft has definitely... Definitely helped. Helped me to see that my what I used to think as flaws are actually my best things, my best traits. Silver pen, back at it again. <laughs> I should make a song about silver pen. Yeah, two little silver pen flourishes. And there we are, there is my self-love letter, my self-care letter also a spell it's a two in one kill two birds with one stone kind of deal so now i'm folding it up and i'm folding it towards myself because that's another little handy trick um if you write a like a partition thing where you like write something that you want to manifest to go towards you if you like fold the paper towards yourself it kind of sets that intention a bit deeper and then if you're writing something to banish if you fold the paper away from you it's like the opposite effect so yeah which tip <laughs> so then i think i do a couple of extra things on the letter just to seal it a bit more my roly tape is back and aha the other stamp 
the other stamp I thought it'd just be cute to have as a bit of decoration on the front of the letter. I always have this tissue paper because I don't want to get my desk too dirty. Although, as you can see, it's not the best. I've still got glue everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, put the shiny gold stamp on the front. And flowers, I guess, just flowers in general are just a, a nice thing to look at. So yeah. And then at the other side, I sign it, basically. I don't really do a signature like I would normally, but I just kind of do a fancy curly whirly swirly handwriting, my full name on the front, because it's for me. It's for me, and it's a spell for me specifically. So I just write Alexandra Baker on the front. And you can do that in like partition paper spells as well. Like if you sign it, it can kind of help as well. Some people like sign. What a lot of people do with that is like they'll they'll write what they want to manifest, and then they'll do like a signature three times, and they'll write over the top of it. And they'll just do their their name three times to kind of lock it down, secure it in, that kind of thing. Underline it with silver pen, of course. And then I believe that's the actual letter complete. You see, I'm not going too over the top this time. I'm trying to keep it low, low key, you know. Yeah, there it is, complete. Very nice. Nice little letter, very cute. So now I'm putting it in the envelope. There you are, perfect. Perfect. I love that thank you sticker. I love that so much. Right, so now I think, I think I now come in with my next ingredient for the spell, which is rosemary. Good old rosemary. You can use that for pretty much anything. It's like the clear quartz of crystals. <laughs> it's a very good herb. I use this like so, so often in everything. Like, literally everything. I can't even think of anything that I don't use it for. So, like, rosemary is very good for, like, mental clarity, for starters. Very good for that kind of thing. Which uh, is uh, very, very needed for self-loving. You've got to have that mental clarity. Mental clarity, um, I'm losing my words. Mental clarity. And it's also very good for healing. The key word here, healing. Very good for healing. Vitality, love, obviously. And it's also uh, good for luck as well. Good luck. So I've sprinkled some rosemary into the envelope itself to surround it with that energy and then just to keep it a bit more secure and not have it fall out everywhere I've got some washi tape that is uh, rose petals so again with the rose symbolism coming back in and the washi tape is uh, a bit crap, so I can like, you know, it's not stuck down completely. I can open the letter very easily and then close it again. But it just keeps it flat and doesn't let all that rosemary fall out. <laughs> Some of it does fall out though, I have to admit, it's a little bit messy. I think I overloaded it with the rosemary, just a tad. I stick a little 
washi petal on the front as well. Couldn't resist. Gotta keep adding more. Typical me. So yeah, now that's done. I can finally put my message in my bottle. There you go, look, it's fallen out, look. I'm just like, eh, get rid of it, it's fine. They won't know, they won't notice, it's fine. <laughs> and yeah, the actual bottle says love you, like the tag on it says love you. Very sweet. Very cute, very sweet. So yeah, now my other ingredients are going in. So I'm trying to think which one first, and I start with the bay leaf. Bay leaves, I use these a lot. They're very good for protection and purification. Very good for divination and manif manifestation. I'm losing the will to live with my language today. <laughs> yeah, very good for manifestation and abundance and things like that. And I'm trying to manifest this self-love into my life, so that's perfect. I've got the white feather. White feather's good for connection to divine, purity, peace, that kind of vibe. Kind of hope as well. And then rose quartz is kind of self-explanatory. Rose quartz, the stone of love, literally. Uh, calm, compassion. Uh, it can be for joy and happiness. It can be for personal growth. It can be used for a lot of stuff. So yeah, now my ingredients are all in the spell jar. And now I'm going to secure it into the book itself. And I ended up having to staple it into the book because... It was just, like I say, it was a little bit chunky. It was a little bit chunky. A little bit too thick. So it, it, it didn't really stick down very well. It wanted to kind of fall out. So I end up uh, stapling as well as sticking it down. But yeah, there it is going in. Going into the book. And my vision has finally come together and I'm loving it. I'm loving it at this point. I'm like, yep, this is what I had in my head and I've somehow made it happen. Really had to squeeze that down hard. I just love that there's like actual ingredients in it that I would use in an actual spell jar. So yeah, here's me putting in that extra crystal because I was like, one will be fine and it's flat. But then I was like, nah, screw it. Put another one in. And then this is where the red ribbon comes in. I was like, I can use the red ribbon as a kind of bookmark to kind of mark the page. So I can have it kind of loosely stapled or glued. I think I glue it. Just glue it to the inside. And then have a bit of it hanging like below the page so that if I ever want to quickly get to this page, I'll know exactly where to find it. A bit like the witch hat on my Samhain page. Acts as a little bookmark of sorts. And just the colour red is very good. And then, yeah, this thing, yeah, so I've had it for so many years and uh, this tape as good as it is it's really good at securing stuff it's also you can actually peel stuff off really easily so I was fine sticking this down just in the corner here because like a, a big part of my healing is my my mum She's my carer, she's my mum, I love her to bits, she's like, she's my number one favourite human being. And I don't know what I'd do without her, so having a little mention of that love between mother and daughter, that quote that it's got on it, I can't think what it says on the top of my head, but it's about the love between a mother and a daughter. 
So it's a good little shout out to my mum. And then the ribbon goes in. And I think I just glue it loosely. I just glue the top end of it. Because I didn't want to obstruct the main event, so just put it in loose. And there we are, stick it to the top. I'm trying to really get it, like things weren't really sticking very well that day, so I was having to go like, get down, stick down. And there we go, we got a little bookmark for the page, and the page is complete. Yeah. Job done. Job well done. I think this is a very creative idea. And I've not seen anyone do this before, so... I'd love to see what you think about this idea. And if you give it a go, I'd love to hear all about it. Here's me posing for thumbnails, I think, again. <laughs> showing it off and there you see it's kind of for me for me you know the crazy one who adds too much stuff this is quite a simple page i think simple and very effective and i think it's just like as much as i would love to pretend that my illness does not exist it does exist and it needs to be mentioned at least a little bit in my book of shadows because it's a part of who i am and it's a part of my journey in this life so here we go it's the end closing up shop <laughs> yes my little lovely current book of shadows which i will do a tour on eventually i, I swear oh there we are not quite as long as my usual videos, but well worth it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. And I'm sending all of my love and healing energy right back through the screen to anyone watching. Love you all so much. Bye bye now.